If you love vinyl, you're at the right place. Discogs isn't just a database, it's the world's leading music discovery and record collecting platform for collectors like you. Today, we're getting down to the basics. I'll show you how to catalog your record collection using Discogs. And for that, the collection tool is your best friend. It helps you stay organized, see your collection's value, and even connect with other collectors. But first, what is Discogs? Discogs is a comprehensive crowdsourced discography integrated with a global music marketplace. And it has personalized collection management tools to help you fuel your collecting journey and deepen your connection to the music you love. Let's say you just got a new album and you want to add it to your collection. Right here I have a copy of Dark Side of the Moon. It's a first pressing. And it's one of the most collected albums on Discogs. To add this to my collection, I'm going to do the following. First, you got to have a free Discogs account. Once you have that and you're logged in, go to Discogs.com and type in the album name in the search bar. This first page is the master release page. Now I just scroll down a little bit and click on the one that I own. I happen to know that it's this top one right here. From there, all I need to do is click the Add to Collection button. That's it. Your record is now saved into your digital Discogs collection. If you're having trouble finding the version that you have, now check out this link right here. Now let's do the same thing on the Discogs mobile app. This time I'm using one of my favorites. It's Lazaretto by Jack White. So for this, I just have to open the app, search for the artist and album, locate the correct version, and then tap the Add to Collection button. Super simple, right? I sure think so. There's one more feature that you should know about when adding to your collection using a mobile device, and that is the barcode scanning tool. Right here, I have Kendrick Lamar's album GNX. It is a Target exclusive, and on the back I can see it has a barcode. So in order to scan this and add it to my collection, what I need to do is log into the Discogs app. When I do that, I can see Search Discogs right underneath the logo. Just to the right of that is a barcode icon. If I click on that, it brings up this scanner device, and I can just hold it up, it finds it automatically, and it displays the results. It shows all of the results that show that particular barcode. In this case, there's only one. So all I have to do is select that result, scroll down to where it says shop this version, add to want list, add to collection, and I tap add to collection. And now it's in my Discogs collection. So, so easy. Once you've added your records, head over to the collection page. Here's what you'll see. You'll get the album details. Every record in your collection is listed with key details like the artist, the album title, the release year, and pressing information. This makes it easy to reference what you have in your collection at a quick glance. Value estimates. Want to know a rough estimate of what your collection might be worth? Well, Discogs pulls real-time market values directly from recent sales history of that specific item on the Discogs marketplace. This means you're always seeing the most up-to-date pricing based on what collectors are actually paying right now. It's a great way to track how prices change over time and keep an eye on the value of your collection as well. You have sorting options. You can easily organize your collection by artist, by release year, by purchase date, or even value. This helps you find records faster and keep everything in order. And sharing. Your collection isn't just for you. Share it with friends or fellow collectors to show off your records, get recommendations, or heck, even trade with others. What if you want to remove a record? If you ever sell a record or give one away as a gift, Discogs makes it very easy to remove it from your collection as well. To remove an item from your collection, locate the item, select it in your collection, and just click the Remove from Collection button. 
It's as easy as that. Okay, hot tip. If you've ever added records on your computer, well, you can still access and view them on your phone. Just open the Discogs app and tap Collection along the bottom. This will allow you to see all of the records in your collection. Now you can check it anytime, anywhere. Why would you want to catalog your records? Well, keeping track of your records isn't just about staying organized. It's about getting the most out of your collection. With Discogs, you'll always know what you own, so you don't accidentally buy duplicates. Something I've done. Plus, you can search your collection right from your phone, making it easy to verify whether or not you own something when you're off at a record store or out away from your computer. There are so many different features packed into the collection tool. And the best part? Discogs helps you discover new music by giving you personalized recommendations based on what's already in your library. If you ever can't decide what you want to play, go to that collection tab and give your phone a little shake, and it looks like I'll be playing Daddy's Highway by the Bats next. And if you're on your desktop, all you need to do is click the random item button. It's like having a personal DJ right at your fingertips. If you haven't already, sign up for a free Discogs account. There's a link below. And start cataloging your records today. Take it from me, I've been using Discogs for over a decade, and it's been a total game changer. If you collect records, CDs, cassettes, maybe even 8-tracks, I assure you, it'll be a game changer for you as well. And don't forget to join Discogs' email list for exclusive music news, collecting tips, and special deals. Thanks for watching and happy collecting. I am Andy and I'll see you next time.